hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about electric flux which is a basic topic and third topic of physics uh, second year or physics 12 so this is a basic topic of electrostatic which defines that the charges at rest or when charges are not moving this is not electrostatic this is known as electrostatic and the electros flux will be defined as the number of electric field lines passing through some area so the when number of electric field lines we need to cal calculate or we need to count the number of lines passing through some area uh, which is present in the vicinity of electric field lines and the in other case as you have seen that i have made two areas which is known as area a and the area b in the area a number of electric field lines passing only two electric field lines are passing and we can say that the uh, flux will be or electric flux will be 2 but we will justify its units what will be the unit of electric flux because electric field lines are passing through some area so it will be newton into meter square into per coulomb because the electric field lines has a units of newton per coulomb and it's passing through some area it will be newton per meter square per coulomb and in the other case we have seen that in the area or region B, number of electric field lines passing, there are five electric field lines passing through this area, then the electric flux will be Newton per meter square per coulomb in this region. Similarly, we have seen two basic cases related to electric flux that are passing through the electric field lines. So, the electric flux is a Greek letter and it is which is shown by eta or phi theta or phi so we will generally use as theta or phi so in the first case we have seen that electric field lines passing through some area and the normal of this area is parallel to electric field lines so we will see and analyze that when area or normal of that area and the arrow of red line area shows that these electric field lines and the area in the same direction and these are parallel with each other and what will be the effect of electric flux and what will be the uh, what will be the electric flux in that region so when area and electric field lines are parallel with each other what will be the phi and electric flux because the electric field electric flux is defined as the number of electric field lines passing through some area so in this case uh, normally or theoretically maximum electric field lines pass through this area so in order to understand this a flux is equal to e multiplied by a because electric field lines multiply by area and it will become a final answer of electric flux so this sign is mistakenly uh, written the, we will write this sign here of electric field lines which will be the parallel so if we count the number of electric field lines for example number of electric field lines passing through this area are 4 so the uh, phi will be or flux will be 4 in the other case when electric flux can be find out when the area is placed parallel but its normal is along the perpendicular to the electric field lines because electric field lines are um, uh, passing through some area and theoretically and we have seen that no electric field lines passing through this area because the direction or position of the area or region area is uh, placing parallel with each other but its normal is perpendicular to electric field lines we will focus on the normal of that area so the normal of that area is very very perpendicular and theta is 90 degree between a and e so if we make the value of uh, if we draw this one and the electric flux will be for the case for perpendicular area is perpendicular and no electric field lines passing through this region so this is known as electric flux of the case where no electric flux is present or no number of electric field lines passing through this region of area a because theta is 90 degree and area is perpendicular or normal of that area is perpendicular to the electric field lines direction of electric field lines so there will be no flux and phi is equal to e into a 
is equal to zero when there is zero or minimum electric flux present in that region. These two cases are very useful in the inter test exam and board exam. Please keep in mind. In the other case, I will briefly discuss about their um, uh, electric flux passing through some area when the area or region is making some angle theta because in this case the electric field lines and the area are not directly perpendicular or not directly parallel so making an angle theta we need to justify what will be the angle what will be the electric flux when the area is making some angle so we have previously mentioned that when electric field lines and area are parallel then the flux is maximum when electric field lines and area is perpendicular then flux is zero so we will justify that uh, phi is equal to a e into a into cos of theta because cos of theta only justify or rule the value of this one and phi is equal to e a into cos theta when cos theta or theta is equal to when two parallel lines are present then phi is equal to maximum according to this formula and two parallel perpendicular line or angle theta then phi is equal to zero so in order to understand this or verify this only cos uh, theta can hold this property so phi is equal to e dot a and this flux is a vector is a scalar quantity because of dot product so we will fi uh, finally uh, calculate the units and dimension of electric flux in order to understand the behavior and or in order to able as uh, in order to prepare the inter test question so phi is equal to e into a the e has a unit of newton per column and area has a unit of into meter square so the uh, newton can be also be excluded or expanded in the form of uh, si units will be, which will be kilogram meter square per second square into kilogram meter per second square into meter square per column in order to understand their units and dimension kilogram meter per second square is a unit of newton and meter square is same and per column will be same so if we uh, collect this it will be kilogram meter cube per second square and per column this is the final units of the uh, electric flux but in order to understand their units and dimension the dimension of kilogram come from m and dimension of mass come from meter come from length and dimension of uh, second time uh, come from time and column same and up till now we have finished about the electric flux their different cases their units and dimension and what is the angle between these two lines when angle is maximum or when electric flux is maximum what will be the angle when minimum what will be the angle if you like our video you can subscribe our channel for more videos see you soon bye bye